back, future warrior bears. This is Dr. Verrett, your principal. We're really excited to have you come join our Faith family in the fall. Hi, I'm Mrs. Gamble, the assistant principal, and welcome. Come on in anytime. Hello, let's start our tour. The main office is through those doors when you first walk in the building. There you will find the offices of our administrators and the secretaries. Let's head to the sixth grade hall. At the end of this main hall, you can see the information about our school's namesake, Lieutenant Colonel Don C. Faith. As a boy, he lived here at Fort Benning. The precepts learned during these school years guided him in the service of his country. You probably noticed the white bear as our mascot. We are proudly known as the Warrior Bears. We'll continue down this main hallway and we'll pass by the information center or library on the left and the school garden on the right. The environmental science class does a great job of planting and tending the garden in the spring and fall. There's the sixth grade hall just ahead on the right. You'll know you're getting close because the doorway was painted green. That's the color for sixth graders. Many of your classes will be down this hallway. The exceptions will be your English language arts and reading class and your elective classes. This is what the lockers look like. Your lockers will be assigned by your teachers. You will purchase your own lock for your locker. It is important that you purchase the lock early and practice with it so that you are able to open the lock quickly and easily when school starts. There are only three minutes between classes, so you likely won't go to your locker between each class. We're headed back to the main hall so you can see how to get to the annex where your English and reading classes will take place. You can see the one-way signs we have in the hall. We have a one-way pattern in the halls to keep traffic flowing. Out these double doors will take you to the courtyard. You will follow the covered path to the annex. The ELA and reading classes are in the main part of this building. This large area you see is the hub. It is where classes can combine or small groups will work. The desks roll so they can easily be moved for the learning that will take place. The English language arts and reading teachers have combined classrooms. In sixth grade, these classes are back to back. Here you can see the hub from the classroom. Let's head back into the main building. Before we go in, take a look at our outdoor courtyard. As we continue around the main hall, we come to a classroom with a couple of elective classes you might take someday, chorus or music appreciation. Right next door is the band room. Students are able to use instruments from the school. There is a variety of instruments available and students will spend the first few weeks in band trying different instruments to see what best suits them. Let's keep going around the main hall. Here are the doors you will likely come in if you ride the bus in the mornings. When you come in, you will go to the cafeteria or to the gym. Those black shelves are there for students to place their binders before they head into PE. Based on the amount of time we have for our classes, our students do not change for PE, just as you will not change after lunch when you go out for recess. So you will not need additional clothes. You will need to wear athletic shoes or bring some shoes to change into during class. Next is the cafeteria. We have two serving lines to keep things moving. Students will sit with their classes so you don't have to worry about finding someone to sit with on that first day as you make new friends. Students go out for recess in all climates. Please make sure that you are dressed appropriately for each day. Our weather is usually pretty mild, but it does get chilly in the winter. Tuesday is our early release day and is the only day of the week we don't go out. There's just not enough time for students to eat and go out before the bell rings because Tuesdays are a shortened day for teacher trainings. Our art classes are right next door to the cafeteria and down the yellow hall. 
This is some of the fantastic art our students have created. As we continue down the hall, we'll see the Information Center again. The Information Center is the library and is in the center of the school. We have thousands of print books for both fiction and nonfiction, and even more ebooks and audiobooks available for our students. There is a resource area where students and staff can find construction paper, markers, scissors, and lots of other materials to create. We also have a reading garden where students can read quietly, or where classes often combine for lessons, or even where we use a shared video connection with places like the Smithsonian American Art Museum to learn about their collection. If you're curious about the books that we have, please take a look at bit.ly slash FMS Destiny. Oh look, as we wrap up our tour, we can just see our warrior bear headed around the corner with our principal, Dr. Verrett. Please take a look at our other videos on our YouTube channel or our posts on our Facebook page or Instagram. We'll see you soon.